Hello everyone, this is Man Faces, and welcome to Project Vault. So in this series, I'm going to try to make a stupidly elaborate large vault system. And basically for the first episode, what we're going to start with is the large atrium. So what you see here is just my mock-up because I wanted to know how spacing was going to work with this. We're going to have some nice tunnels rushing out that way. So it's going to be pretty sweet looking. We also got some uh, hidden room back here, so maybe we can do something with that. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to tear this down and then I'm going to show you guys how I came up with the uh, double atrium concept. Now, if you guys notice, I've had to move the doorway quite a bit, actually, and added this, uh, I don't know, it's pretty cool looking tunnel. Yeah, it's, it's a little rough in here. We'll talk about that stuff in a couple of episodes. And I got the uh, elevator just in a, mm, for right now, position, but we're going to go on ahead with the double atrium, and then we're going to go with a nice high ceiling. So let me go on ahead and break this down, and then we'll get started. So the first thing that I like to do is go on ahead and get my uh, tunnel network set up. So I'm going to go on ahead and look for uh, a domestic corner. Stick it down. And then I believe it was uh, two of these. And then another uh, domestic corner. And the reason why I did this was because it brought me to the uh, center of the vault without uh, losing too much space. Get these beds out of here. Okay, now I do believe this is right, but this let's just say this is tentative for now, okay? So let's get back into our atrium kit and let's go on ahead and grab our door. It's always a good idea to try to start with doorways when you start with these. Uh, it just gives you a little bit more freedom. Okay, now what we're gonna need, and I'm doing this by somewhat memory, we're gonna need two of these. Mm, we might be wrong already. Yep, yeah, looks like we're wrong already. We're gonna need a hallway. We're gonna need to bring it out one more. That's the problem with building these twice, but you know, I did not want everyone to have to sit there while I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do. Okay, and then we'll go back to what we were doing. So what I'm going to do now is I'm probably going to go on ahead and just fast motion this step. So now that we have the basic shape of our atrium, man, this place is going to be pretty damn big. Okay, so what we want to do now is we want to go on ahead and try to make a higher ceiling in the middle. Now, I found a pretty easy way to achieve this. Um, what I'll usually do is I'll use one of these parts back here. So many pots. Uh, let's just go with a uh, basic one. Yeah, it'll work. okay. Now, if you can see, it snaps right here, which is cool, but we want our ceilings to be a little bit larger. So, what I want everyone to check out is where it snapped. Okay, so I'm using my jetpack for this because we just needed to get up here. Uh, Alright, so now that we've made it up here, we have a couple of things we need to do. Um, basically what we're going to do is we're going to trick the kit into working in our favor. Because if you notice, it, it just doesn't want to snap where you would want it to snap. But you can just do this. Which is, I, mean, I don't know, a little bit of a time waste, but that's okay. So now that you have this, what you can do is you can pick up the atrium prefab wall. I think we're going to have to fall in order to do it right. Okay, so we'll pick the atrium prefab up, and then we should have been able to lock it into that, but it's probably just being a jerk. Yeah. There we go. 
And as you can see, now we have a nice high ceiling going on over there, which I kind of like the look of. So I'm going to go on ahead and put this here for placeholder, and then we're going to go on ahead and put uh, the other piece. And you can kind of do these any way you really want to. Uh, as usual, I'm just trying to give ideas. Alright, good to go. So now we need to get our elevator in there. And to do that, we're just going to kind of do the same thing, but we'll be doing it down here. So um, let's go on ahead and just like force it to do what we want it to do. I need this one anyways. I guess it couldn't be just too simple. It had to be a little complex. It's all good. Okay, so what you guys need to know, or I mean, I talked about it in the elevators video as well, but the elevators will only snap to the flat floors. It will not snap to those, but since we have ourselves some flat floors, uh, we can try, but I think that elevator might be too big. Yeah, so we'll go with the sweet three floor. Now we could have went with a four floor, so we could try that and see how that comes out. So there's the four floor here. I mean, that's kind of awesome. Yeah, that's kind of awesome. All right, we'll go with the four floor then, because you know we're ballers like that, and we'll use the three floor somewhere else in the vault because we're probably going to need another elevator. And that's pretty damn good. We'll probably have to put only one exit floor and it'll probably be all right here but we'll get in that a little bit later okay so now that we have the uh, basic shape built what I'm gonna do now is just flesh out this wall Alright, we got the scaffolding up for our elevator, which is awesome. Came up with a cool idea. Hopefully it works. Um, what I want to do is kind of add uh, a little bit of a tunnel. Honestly, we might could... Maybe. But what I've been thinking about is that... Uh, raiders come in this place pretty damn hard. And I think they spawn... Uh, inside of this place which is like I don't know reminds me of a uh, hangman's I've only like seen it once uh, but uh, it was enough to be like what's going on especially when the vault was kind of large at the time <laughs> I was getting lost and I'd be like okay uh, they're all dead great only to have to go out and fight again Maybe we should leave uh, an extra one. I don't know. The best four way. We'll need a door. Uh, need this. No. So we have the door cap. Always the odd parts. I think we need one of these. Uh, come on. Oh, is our door backwards? I think our door is backwards. That'll end up being an issue for us. It might. It might. Maybe we could try the door cap. 
Mm. So fitting this in was a little tricky. What I ended up having to do was put a floor here, put a floor there, and then remove this floor, go to the utility, and get myself a uh, utility hallway. Once we find the right one, that's a corner. Okay, we'll go with doorway the hallway and see how it looks. That's not too bad, but it looks a little sketchy. The problem is I doubt we'll be able to get us anything nicer on that. But at least it's sealed. That's what was important. And then we can remove that and then just continue to do what we were going to do originally. Now, uh, we're going to run into this problem again when we get over to the other sides over there. So I'm wondering how that's going to work. We're also kind of tight, but I think it sh yeah, it should snap. Could have gone with uh, domestic hallways, but these are kind of nice. Oh, so we are gonna have a space issue. It's always like that. What I don't like is how these uh, buildings aren't built the same. Like, there's always something you have to, like, cut around in order to work. So, hmm. I think we might be busted here, guys. We might be busted here. Well, unfortunately, because of space, we were only able to get one pathway. But that's okay. I'll probably do something a little different with that. But I have to say, it's shaping up to be rather impressive looking. Okay, so next what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on ahead and build the basic structure of it. We're going to save actually filling it into rooms for the next episode. Looks like we had a bit of a windfall and we ended up with some extra room back here. So what we're going to do is we're going to use some atrium prefab inner corners. And what that's going to allow us to do is that we'll be able to put parts on this side now. But it doesn't uh, leave any gaps, although that's not what we want. And we could like change this stuff later if we really wanted to. Right now we're just trying to get a basis of what we really want. Because I already know that I want to get a tunnel or something. Actually I don't know, it might not fit. Some of the tunnels don't fit too well. We're, we'll definitely be uh, linking up those two tunnels, but this tunnel right here, mm, not too sure. It might just be like a private exit. It looks like it's probably only going to let us get, like, one more. Yeah, that's what it seems that way. But we'll go on ahead with that. And then we'll finish it with a doorway. That way, if we do want to go out there, we can. Yeah. Yeah, good stuff. Alright, so we need us one of these mids. 
Yeah, that's not right. We need one of these right here. There we go. And this stuff, you know, you just learn what to select, uh, just kind of by just doing. And honestly, we could make this a little higher, but hmm, we'll save that. Cause it's looking pretty sharp in here, and we don't really have much left in order to uh, get our walls complete. For the most part, what I have been doing is like, hmm, it's pretty good. At least it's being nice. Although I think we're gonna need, um, yeah, that's not gonna work. We need to bring this down and leave that top open because although we weren't able to get it on that side, we can definitely get the uh, pathway on this side. And we need to think about what to do with our overseer's office because I'm thinking about using this as the overseer's office and then maybe putting glass ceilings in some places. Although I'm not really too sure how those would link up. Let's just uh, let's give it a shot and see how it works. It might be considered a roof panel and just won't uh, snap to anything in here, which would be kind of sad. Yep, that's what it looks like. Darn. That's alright, we'll get around it. We always do. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and just try to fill in some of the holes. Uh, and then we'll probably call this episode good to go because we have our basic shape of our atrium and in the next episode what we're gonna do is we're gonna break the atrium off into smaller rooms because what I've noticed is that it's a lot of flipping parts in order to get it to work right uh, we also need to find a better place to put our power because I really don't like it there Right, before we finish up, uh, I need to go on ahead and I just kind of stumbled upon this one and I, I gotta say it's pretty damn sharp looking. Pretty damn sharp looking. They're just a pain in the snap, but man, I didn't think because uh, if you notice we're like clipping through these banisters up here. I didn't think they were gonna allow it, but I'm kind of glad they did because this really is going to finish off the uh, the top of the fall. Jeez, this place is going to be huge. But hey man, I'm liking it because they finally gave us all the parts. We might as well mess around with them to our heart's content because it seems like we're going to be heading off to Raider uh, building zones very, very soon. Although the entire game looks like it was built by Raiders, so hmm, who knows. <laughs> All right, let me frame this up. I kind of want to see how the roof's going to go. All right, so what I've gone ahead and done is mocked up this front section uh, exactly the same as the uh, original section. So what I want to do now is try to combine it all pretty cool. So I had these uh, 90 degree railings. So what I've been doing is just bringing them around to go ahead and start the bridges. Um, trying to go for something like futuristic-ish, uh, Star Wars style, something like that. So going to be a lot of railings, a lot of neons, a lot of stuff like that. Let's see what we get. Um, I mean, that's pretty cool how it came in on itself. I guess we would need a different piece though. Hmm. I had never noticed that. Yeah, it's all railings from there. Alright, looks like we've gotten ourselves into something. Maybe it's this one. Oh, it's a different type of rail. Hmm. That's what always makes these custom builds just so hard. It's just knowing how everything fits together. Hmm. All right. 
So looks like we're going to have to do it the hard way. So let's just see if it's going to even work for us. We were trying to use the floor uh, pieces as they were intended, but it just wasn't going to work. So what we need now is uh, some mid doors and then we'll just run mid doors all the way. I guess I shouldn't have taken the bottom one down. I think, I think the bottom one was okay. Alright, so let's go with some mid doors this time and try. Uh, maybe we could go from mid door to... Raven? Then if that does work, then we'll just do the same thing on the other side. I mean, honestly, the railings came in late. A lot of this stuff just because you never quite know what you're gonna run into when you start building these things. I think we've come a long way today. Uh, the last thing I kind of want to do is that I want to go on ahead and finish up this top section. I am a little concerned with how it's going to look or if it will even go period because we're doing a lot of clipping in here. Ah, oh, and it works. Yes. Oh, that looks awesome, man. That looks awesome. I like how a bit of a fluke just turns it into something like truly, uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to say amazing, man. I like it. And it'll only get better with time. And that's usually how these projects work. The more time you put in them, the more awesome they come out. And I'm definitely gonna be getting some sweet neons in here. Well, anyways, thanks for watching, everyone. Like, share, subscribe, and stay tuned for more fun. Let me know what you guys think about the Vault Project in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching, everyone. Take care.